All right, guys, Caleb and I are going up into the North Woods. We're going into the Allagash and we're going on vacation for a couple of days. We're gonna have no cell reception, no electricity, probably get eaten by a bear. No, definitely not. Nah. We have, I have bear medicine, little. And knives and little, guns. Uh, so we'll yeah, be fine. That's the bear medicine. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going up into the woods and we'll vlog the whole thing for you guys. Yeah, so you're gonna get to ride right along. Ain't no cops up here. Ain't no coppers up here. This is all private home. Tying a loop knot, because I tie my own leaders. I just use straight fluorocarbon, because I think tip, tipping leaders are overrated. So, just buy a big spool, you get all kinds of leaders. One Rio thing of fluorocarbon tipping material, tapered tippet, will be like, like 14 bucks. And that's like for nine feet of material. This is like 24 bucks and you get 200 yards of line. So yeah, kind of makes sense to me. And I've caught just as many trout and I've even caught Arctic char off of this method. So I don't really, I think it works pretty well. And I also think that Bass line is superior to Rio's line, especially especially Strike Kings. I don't have any Strike King right now, but Suffix works pretty good too. The gel line. All right, guys. So it's Tuesday, the second day of our trip, and the first morning, and we are just out here fishing on the pond. He doesn't want to come up. He doesn't want to come up. Okay, okay, he's going. He's nose diving. Oh my god, huge blue back. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a huge blue back. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my god. Come in. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Come in. Yes! 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 Holy cow, look at the size of that blue back! That is huge. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> look at the size of that fish! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes! 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 Oh my god! Oh, look at that hook set. He was pinned. Took that freaking leech. Oh, there he goes, he's free. That's air. insane. Oh. Yes, look at that blue back. Caleb, how rare is this fish? This fish only exists in 14 lakes in the entire world and I just caught a trophy sized one. So these fish are notoriously hard to get because they only like extremely deep water. They really only like to live in about 35 feet is really the sweet spot and they only come up during the winter time when they're spawning so It's in this this particular lake is fly fishing only so it's very very hard to get down to these fish is that another blue back? Oh my god, I think it's 
it's either a massive brook trout or another very big blue back. Oh, it's a huge ass brookie. I mean, huge buck brookie. Swearing is not allowed. Oh boy. Did you see that run? I did see that. Holy cow, these are not, these ain't no stock brookies, that's for sure. Oh, look at how big this fish is. Oh, that's a nice brookie right there, buddy. Woo! Okay guys, Caleb and I finished up fishing. We came in and had lunch and went for a swim in the lake and now we're going to go back out and go fishing again. Hey, you like that? Bear medicine right there. Oh yeah, this big one. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool though. It is cool. Number 148 of 250. So I'm using a headlamp to show you guys this, but for dinner tonight we have asparagus and chicken. And then over here, we have some cheesy potatoes. We're actually pretty good chefs. What? We're pretty good chefs. Yes, we are actually. It is Wednesday morning here at Big Reed Pond and it is pretty rainy here this morning. Caleb is actually about to go fishing in the rain and I'm going to stay back here and read my book for now just because it is pretty wet out. Hey guys, it's me. From TA I'm filming a new video showing you how to do your makeup in black. All right guys, it is Wednesday night and Caleb pretty much fished all day today and I kind of chilled out and read my book, but now we're both out here fishing because it cleared up. Excellent cast. Thanks, Abby. This is the part we don't put on camera, but we've been out here for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and we have not caught a single fish. No fish. So usually I only film when we catch fish, but since we're not catching fish, I figured I'd let you know. But we will catch a fish before the night is done. We're just gonna change spots first. Caleb and I fished for a while, but we never ended up catching anything. I mean, Caleb got a little fish, but it was like a little tiny zinger, not very big at all. And I did not get it on film. Um, but it was still fun. We had a good time and now I'm back here. I'm going to make dinner and I might show you some clips of that But other than that, I will probably call it a night I'm just cooking up the vegetables for dinner tonight And I'm making some asparagus and mushrooms for the asparagus I just did asparagus and butter and a little bit of lemon pepper spice and then for the mushrooms. I just did butter I just realized I never showed you our little cabin in the woods. So when you walk in this is the table where we ate and then this is just a little stove and this is our sink. There was no running water so we got water out of a tub. And then that was our little oven and our cast iron pans. This was our bed where we slept and there's like a little nightstand and stuff right there. And these are the other two beds in the cabin. And that's pretty much it. It was really really cute. Super clean, super fun to stay at. We are off. Right Caleb? What? said we're off. We are off. That's a wrap. All right guys, Caleb and I are driving home and we just saw a bear. I didn't get it on camera because it ran across the road really fast, but we did see one which was really cool. Didn't get to use the bear medicine, which is good, um, but we saw one which was neat. Right Caleb? What? Seeing, oh, are you okay? Yeah. Seeing the bear was pretty neat. It was pretty neat. This is a grouse.
We just got back from our trip. We had a great time, caught lots of fish, saw some cool wildlife, enjoyed watching Caleb catch all the fish. <laughs> so if you also enjoyed watching Caleb catch all the fish, leave a comment down below and feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. As for right now though, peace out. Peace out.